Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't been around for about three months. I've been having some really bad health issues. When about six years ago, I got a defibrillator ICD pacemaker put in me. I had two heart attacks at work. Um, and the past three months or six months, I've had pneumonia twice and my defib was going off. Well, I went off three times in a matter of a month. Now, the doctor told me when it happens, it's gonna hit you like a baseball bat or a horse kicking you. And I just laughed at him, I thought it was funny, but it bloody hurts. That's the worst thing I've ever imagined. Now I'm back to it, thank God. Everything's been good. Every, they fixed me up with new tablets and I feel like I rattle when I walk because I'm on that many bloody friggin' tablets every day. But other than that, guys, today I'm making another video. Um, I'm making Banana banoffee bites, you know the big pies that you get, they're just sometimes a pain in the ass to make. Well, I'm making small little things and like I think finger foods for Christmas as well. That's another good thing or holidays, whatever you want to call it. And we'll be back, I'll be back showing you what we need. But other than that guys, thanks for tuning in. Okay guys, hopefully this doesn't stuff up. It's the fourth time I'm recording this. I've got 250 grams of, of crushed sweet biscuit. A little bit left in the, in this bowl for decoration. I've got a full can of condensed milk that's turned into um, into caramel. If you don't know how to do it, take the label off, stick it in a pot of water, and let it simmer for about three hours. Don't let it explode because you'll be cleaning it up for a week. I've also got 250 grams of milk and and white chocolate. Make sure there's a little bit of white just to make it a little bit sweeter and one ripe banana. I'm gonna mix all this together and I'll come back and I'll show you what I do after that. See you later. Yeah, it worked. Okay guys, I'm back. Now, all we're looking for is really thick, 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 really thick, thick pieces. Now, what I suggest you do is mash the banana up with everything else so it can stay um, a bit chunky. Now what I suggest is as well, dip your hands in some water and take some out. You want them the size maybe of half a golf ball, if you can see. So something like that. Just stick it on a tray. I'm gonna do most of these if I can. And if they start getting sticky on your hands, just dip it in water again and go back at it again. So I'll finish these off. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for about half an hour. About, <clears throat> excuse me, about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then we'll melt some chocolate and I'll coat them and I'll show you how I decorate them. But that's it, I'll be back when these are all done and when they're frozen and when I'm pulling them out of the freezer and that'll be it. I'll speak to you then. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got melted chocolate, my balls here, and two forks. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a ball, dump it in, mix it around, Gently take all the extracts off and put it on the paper. And do another one. Same again. Just make sure it's all. Whoops. Just let the runoff happen. And put it here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is. With this one, I'm going to sprinkle some, with these ones I'm going to sprinkle some more. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do most of these now, and I'll come back and I'll show you how I decorate them after I leave it. So they're in there about 25 minutes. Alright, so I'll finish these off, I'll come back, make sure you've got a little bit of white chocolate that's melted, and, to, and a little bit of the caramel that was left over from... The, the mixture. Alright? See you guys. Alright guys, I'm back. These have been in the fridge about not even 20-25 minutes. I've left a few of them 
plain, they bloody stick for some stupid reason. Now, to decorate them, I just got some normal white chocolate, let it run, and drizzle over the top, just like you would. Now I'm gonna leave a few of these untouched because I'm going to put some of that caramel that we used before on it. So that's done. So what I've done is I've just grabbed a normal glad, a normal glad rag, cut a hole out the end, and I'm just gonna pipe a bit on. And same here. <laughs> and that's really about it, guys. I'm going to sit these in the freezer for another maybe 10 minutes just to sort them all out. I might actually bring it up to the camera and show you what these like. I'll fix the caramel on top. It looks like someone's... Yeah, you can understand what it looks like. Um, but yes, that's really about it. I'll cut one open and put it in a picture at the end. But that's really about it, guys. Next week, this is it. For next week or the week after, <coughs> if you know what these are, hopefully the camera can focus on it. <coughs> if it's going to focus. Nope, it won't focus. Okay, these are Ferrero Rochers, as you know. I want to make a cake out of these next week or the week after. So, and trust me, the cake is effing rich and you'll look at it and have diabetes. Okay, guys, that's it from me this week. Thanks for coming back and hopefully everything goes well. See you later, guys.